welcome to another of our Daily Crafts video podcast. Today it's the turn of the pastoral group. A wide variety of dogs with one theme in common. They were all bred for herding and guarding flocks, but they come from all over the world and they all look totally different. Some of them have the most spectacular coats. So just how do you go about preparing that for crafts? Obviously, grooming with a breed like the Old English Sheepdog is going to be vital. How long does it take you to get a dog like this ready for the show? Uh, you're talking about eight hours. Eight hours eight of grooming. Eight hours of work, yes. And what sort of things do you have to do? Uh, no knots. We don't allow any knots at all. Um, obviously, toes to be trimmed, teeth to be cleaned, uh, and faces to be cleaned as well. And what sort of grooming tools would you use to work on an Old English? Uh, when you want a brush that's got pins, uh, to start with and then we use a pure bristle brush which are very expensive um, and a, a comb with wider teeth to get through all the knots in their coats. And many people would think looking at Callie's coat that that's going to be soft as anything but the Old English should have a nice harsh coat. A nice it? harsh coat that's waterproof and an undercoat that's nice and soft which keeps them warm. What about bath time? Bath time is wonderful. <laughs> I don't know who gets wet at me or her. <laughs> Now in contrast to Callie here, the bearded collie, although also a long-coated pastoral dog, shouldn't look quite so well prepared for the ring. It needs to maintain that rugged, shaggy outdoor look. And the Hungarian Puli, well that's a completely different coat. The top coat and the undercoat in the correct proportions form these wonderful ropes or cords which fall almost to the ground. And on the head, well they should look like an umbrella. And what about this little chap, the Lancashire healer? Well, a rub with a chamois leather will do. But which of these perfectly groomed pastoral dogs will have made it into that final lineup? And Stuart Mallard is the judge. He's actually an artist from <laughs> He's got the honor of judging these 30 breeds and uh, he's picked out the Australian Shepherd dog there first and the bearded Collie, uh, Belgian Shepherd dog to Buren, so he's, so he's got a short list of, he looks like he's going to pick about eight or nine. That's the rough collie. I think he's also pulled out the Briard. There's the Finnish Laphund. And what else are you going for? The Hungarian Puli. There it is. The Sheltie is coming out. It's a tiny little Sheltie. It's really cute. And the Pembroke Corgi, I think, is also he's decided to bring out. It's a bit of an afterthought, that. But anyway, he's got nine to choose from over just under 3,000 dogs competed in the group and these are according to Mr Mallard the best nine so those are the nine and Stuart Mallard has to take a decision he's having a really good long deliberation so far we've had two continental dogs winning a Norwegian dog on the first day of course you just seen the working group but at last I think we're going to get a British winner yes we are because it's the beardy Daisy this four-year-old bitch from Bedfordshire she gets the nod that's a great moment for owner Anglia May oh yes doesn't the dog look happy they always do these beardies they have a great smile on the face What's going to be group two? It's going to Diablo, the Australian Shepherd. You know, I said, I just wonder if it might go against the fact that the Shepherd, the Australian Shepherd won here last year. Couldn't perhaps win again. Anyway, we'll never know the answer to that one. Group three goes to the Re 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 Collie Rio, three and a half years old. And group four goes to that smashing Hungarian pool. He just floats over the ground. But at this point, having won the group here at Crufts. The happiest person has got to be Anglia May and her lovely beard. So that's fantastic. Another of our Crufts Best in Show finalists. And you can keep up to date by subscribing to our daily video podcast. All you've got to do is log on at bbc.co.uk forward slash Crufts. So keep up to date with us.